Hello guys, hope you're having a great day. Uh, got another Polish beer to review here for you. I'm doing a bit of a Polish week, so uh, going to be uh, five or six Polish beers in a row to review. Uh, this one, I think it's called Vorka, because uh, I've heard that in Poland they pronounce the uh, W's as V's, so it's Vorka. Um, Vorka Classic Beer, which I assume is a lager, uh, it's been going since 1478. Here's a little look at the can for you. It's 5.2% ABV. Uh, it is a 500 ml can and it cost me £1.49. Um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to trying uh, this because <coughs> the last one I tried was rather nice. Um, and it's brewed using Polish hops as well, so that's quite interesting. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it out. Let's uh, crack it open and uh, get the old snout in there and have a little whiff and uh, see what sort of aroma we get from it, shall we? Malty. Definitely getting the malts in there. Kind of grassy. Perhaps grassy sort of hoppiness to it. That's about it, really. It's a lager, you know, it's not going to smell much, is it? Uh, but there's nothing wrong with it. It just it smells like a typical kind of lager, really. There we go, let's get it in the glass. See what she's all about. Uh, the other Polish beer I did, the head, one of the few downfalls to it was the head went very quick. This one is looking like it's going to do the same thing, look. It's got a nice white head, but you give it 30 seconds or so. And we we'll see if it's still there. The other one was completely gone within 30 seconds. Uh, carbonation wise, I would say it is sort of medium carbonated for a lager that. Well, that is well carbonated. For a lager, you can get a lot more than that sometimes, but too much carbonation is not really good, is it? Because you keep burping every two seconds. Yeah, the head's starting to go now, look. Maybe it's just a thing with the Polish beers. I don't know. Maybe they don't like a bit of head. But I know I do. But yeah, anyway. Slight bit of citrus in there. Like smelling it again from the uh, glass. Anyway, uh, cheers guys. And uh, I'm going to try it now and uh, let you know what I think. First impressions, that's a nice lager. It's another nice lager. Uh, you Polish guys weren't lying when you said you make some nice lagers. Because this is decent. Very, very refreshing. First impressions, very refreshing. A very crisp. Just what you want in a lager, really. Let's go again. Think about the sort of flavours we can get out of this bad boy. It's not the most flavoursome, but it's one of the sort of very easy drinking sort of beers. 5.2%, again, it tastes a lot less. It tastes more like 4.2 to me. <clears throat> um, you are getting the hops in there on the back end. There's like a grassy hops and a slight bit in this. Very slight, but, you know, better than nothing, isn't it? There is a, there is malty, a malty character to this as well. Again, Slight hints of sort of bready malts and like, I'll go again. Almost a bit like of a toasty, toasted sort of malty taste as well. They are all very slight tastes. A bit of corn as well. There is a slight sweetness in there. It's all slight, but it's all really nice, really crisp, refreshing, easy drinking sort of lager that is a hell of a lot better than most of our watered down crap here in the UK. I have to say that for sure. <laughs> Pardon me. Carbonation levels, as you can see, they are there. It's good. It's not amazing. I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying it.
in the end, when you got that, what I was saying about the um, the grassy hops and the it's a very slight bitterness, it's also followed with like a dryness, which kind of uh, sits in there with it as well. But it's a really nice dryness. It's not too uh, too bad. It's really really good. Um, yeah, I think that's about it really. Perhaps a little bit of a, a herbiness in there as well. But again, it's very distant, like all the flavours I'm getting from this. But I've got to say, there's nothing wrong with it. It's probably mass produced in Poland. Uh, you no, know, it's, it's a fair price, £1.49. It's a 500ml can. Um, produced in Poland only. Again, they, these Polish beers, they kind of make that point. But, you know, being proud of, uh, you know, being Polish and not having it brewed anywhere else and all that sort of thing. Uh, I think we could learn a thing or two off of them guys. <clears throat> Overall, final score out, uh, out of 10. I'm sort of in the middle of two figures at the minute. I'm going to go once more. I'm going to go for an 8.4. For a lager, of course, you know. I'm only comparing this to other lagers. And this is better than most lagers. It's very enjoyable. And uh, again, I would quite happily drink it again. Um, yeah, it's just a decent, uh, well-rounded beer for me. If you've enjoyed this, please smash the like button, guys. Help my videos get pushed out there a bit more. And if you're new to the channel, uh, you know, think about subscribing. Watch some of the other videos if you like. And uh, take it from there. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate all of you guys that have subscribed. And uh, I hope to see you all again on the next one. Bye-bye, darlings.